there's my suitcase. Hi guys, I'm in Switzerland. I'm in Lucerne. It's beautiful. I only had one night here and I'm leaving in a few hours to catch my train to Paris. Nearing the end of my trip. I can't believe it's coming to an end already, but um, I'll be in Paris for about five days and then I'll be back in Los Angeles, back in my baby's arms, back in my baby. You know who I'm talking about, Samson. Switzerland is like being in a postcard. It is so picture perfect. Like it does not look like real life. It looks, it looks like someone painted this city. It's so gorgeous. It is definitely a pricey city. It's expensive. I spent $7 on a little, little bottle of water here. And I know the water is safe to drink. I was at a restaurant and I feel like they only serve bottled water at restaurants. Maybe I'm wrong, but everywhere in Europe, they ask if you want still or sparkling and then they bring out a bottle. I don't know, but that brings me to today's sponsor in a roundabout way. If you like to save money the way I like to save money, you have got to check out Mint Mobile. I am in love with my Mint Mobile service. When I'm at the gym, when I'm doing my workouts, I'm always watching like YouTube or something like that on my phone. And the speed is truly lightning fast. 5G is the best of the best. It's as fast as it gets. They have these unlimited plans that start at $15 a month. And that includes your talk, your text, your data, the 5G access, the hotspot, all of that for $15 a month. It's like an absolute no brainer to switch to Mint Mobile, start saving money today. You can get an eSIM card, so you can instantly switch over to Mint Mobile. You don't have to go into any actual physical location. You can do it from home. It's really easy. I'm on an iPhone 11, and even if your phone is not eSIM compatible, then they will mail you a SIM card for free. You can keep your current device, your current phone number. So go check out our sponsor, mintmobile.com slash TCP to get premium wireless for as low as $15 a month. You can make the switch today. It's fast, it's easy, and start saving yourself some coins. Thanks Mint Mobile for sponsoring today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. minutes until I have to check out of my hotel. I wanted to start the vlog. It is rainy outside. Yesterday was my first full day here. I got in Sunday afternoon, walked around, stayed up, went to bed at a normal time, and then Monday yesterday I got up early, went out, saw all the major historical sites, and then about four o'clock I got hit with major jet lag and I was down for the count. I booked this Airbnb experience and I had to just lose the money on that. But I'm gonna show you my um, interesting little apartment hotel that I'm staying at. It's really cute. It's about a hundred a night and it's in a kind of quiet neighborhood. And I had really good sleep here and it's already time to go. So I'm gonna go sightsee for today. Sorry about the lighting, but um, I'm gonna go sightsee today and then catch the train to Prague this evening and I'll catch up with you there. But let me show you the hotel and um, I'm trying to pack everything into my suitcase so that I don't have to carry my uh, personal item tote bag as I take the train around. We'll see if it zips up, we'll see. Okay. So you walk in the door and there's this purple motif sitting area. It has a little kitchenette, which has been great. And there's a supermarket right down the street, actually right next door. So I just went over there and got yogurt and fruit for breakfast. Yes, I'm messy, even in a hotel room. The bed was super comfortable, big windows. I got to watch TV in bed. This is the kind of stuff I like about staying at a hotel. Bathroom was super clean. And 
Here's a little sitting area. Here's the suitcase that I'm going to try to close up. Um, it's growing by the second. I'm going to be carrying my umbrella today, ditching this book, ditching this plastic thing that I was using to carry my masks. I'm going to leave that here. My parka. And let's see if I can zip this up. Here's my outfit of the day. Black t-shirt, black like khaki type pants. And then I have my white sneakers and um, yeah, that's the zip. Showered, dressed, ready to go. And it's almost 11 a.m. It's rainy here, it's rainy there, it's rainy in Vienna, but we're gonna make the most of it. I get this little entryway. These tiles, I just took a bath. Oh, it was heavenly. What a cute, cute, cute place. Very charming. And I have a nice little view out that window. It's after midnight though, so I'll show you the world. in Prague. The city is stunningly gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The sun has come out now. See, it's like 4.30. I did a six-hour tour today, so I'm going to go to the hotel and relax for a little bit, freshen up, and then get back out and do some walking. Just arrived at the Vienna train station, waiting for my Uber. Nine o'clock, ready to check into the hotel. So this trip is kind of like that Lady Gaga quote where she's saying, no sleep, bus, club, another club, another club, plane, next place, no sleep. That's what I started to feel like because I was moving so quickly through these cities and there's different kinds of travel. There's slow travel and I definitely went the fast route. I wanted to do 48 hours in Berlin, in Prague and in Vienna because I wanted to just get a taste for these cities that are more on Eastern European kind of side, which I'd never been to. And then I slowed down a little bit as I got on to the next destinations, but this was a very hectic pace. pretty tiny. Wow. Okay. I don't think I realized it was this small. Oh, 
Oh, go with. Oh, you, this uh, is yeah. not for you. Uh, that I, I mean, I am showing you. Yeah. I really miss the mark with this room. I mean, it's beyond tiny. This is the room. It is claustrophobic. That's what it is. It's claustrophobic. It's also on the ground floor. My window is right outside of like a, I don't know, weird little inner chamber. I'm tired. I'm just like tired and hungry. I'm going to take some melatonin and go to bed early. I am at this point on day six or seven of my trip and I did not have a good time in Vienna. I mean, it wasn't just the hotel room. I just did not have a good experience. Tell me if you've been to Vienna, if you love the city. It's a gorgeous city. I mean, it's beautiful. I just didn't have a good experience interacting with people there. And I couldn't wait to get to the airport. The day that I left, I got to the airport early, which is so not like me. I was ready to hit the road and move on to Italy, which is a country I love to be in and I feel really good in. Beaches over there. p.m. first night in Amalfi Coast and I am so tired 
I was going to try to stay up and watch an episode of Bad Sisters, but I'm, I'm exhausted and I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to catch this bus to go do a whole eight-hour boat day. So it's actually good that I go to sleep early tonight. Um, it's pretty comfortable in here. And it was so beautiful outside tonight. There was fireworks and there was um, the moon was on the water. It's just like unbelievably beautiful here. Oh goodness. Great place to honeymoon or come all by yourself like I have. <laughs> And um, spent the day on a boat in the ocean. Got dropped off in like a smaller part of town where the bus doesn't come but every two hours. Thankfully, shop owner uh, eventually helped me because I kept going in there and bothering him and being like, I don't know what to do. So we got a guy to drive me up the hill so I could go to a bus stop that has more frequent stops, like maybe every 30 minutes because otherwise it was gonna cost $120 to go to my hotel, which is six miles away. But it's 45 minutes because of all of the crazy turns and traffic. Things happen, but you gotta roll with it. It's like very nice weather. I'm a little bit cold because I'm wet from swimming, but I can handle it, nothing too bad. And I just hope I can get the bus sooner rather than later and that I'm standing in the right spot. We'll see. Just got back from a full day on a boat and it was the best day it was the best it's like better than i could have ever imagined we went to capri walked around the island got back on the boat we went swimming we well we missed the blue grotto because it was too high tide but it was like an outstanding amazing experience with the best group of people possible just total strangers but by the end we were really really good friends and very very funny people so i got lucky i got lucky with the group to this book, this bra, ill-fitting. 
t-shirt with holes, not using this. This is empty. Bunch of paperwork from different things. Oh, I want to bring this. Okay, my jacket, all right. And goodbye to this gorgeous, perfect, like, unreal view. Oh my God, what a great, great, great hotel. Highly recommend. Hotel Torre Saracena. I am walking in Rome and I have my food to go. I just had a really nice lunch and I'm walking back to my hotel. It's about a 40 minute walk. And I'm gonna order an Uber to go to the train station. Ooh, I love how they have these. You can just drink from these, look. The original like water system. So cool and refreshing. Ooh, I love it. Anyways, I'm gonna take an Uber to the train station here in Rome. And then I'm gonna buy a ticket to go to Florence. And um, it's about an hour and a half train ride. And then I'll take the bus to the hotel that I'm staying at. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a tour of Siena and Pisa. And then I'm going to do a Vespa tour that I'm very excited about. So I kind of had this whole part of the trip not really planned. Um, I might head up to Milan on Sunday. And then Monday I just need to be in Switzerland. So, yeah, it's a beautiful city and a beautiful day. side of the road luckily the hotel will send someone to come and get me otherwise I don't know what I would do I'm in the middle of nowhere there's just like fields behind me hitchhike Okay, it's 10 p.m. and I'm going to bed. I'm waking up at 6.30 a.m. to get ready quickly to get picked up by the taxi at 7.10 a.m. to head to the tour that's at 7.45 a.m. and it's 12 hours and we're going to Pisa, San Gimignano, and somewhere else. Siena, Siena, Siena. So that will be tomorrow. I love this room. I'm really loving this room. Yes, it's messy because of me, but... It is such an adorable, adorable space. So happy I got here before sunset. That was stunning. I wish I could have captured when the sun was like golden, but I got as much of the footage as I could. It's just really gorgeous up here. And I can't believe this hotel is about $100 a night. Okay, I'm exhausted. I've had a lot of early mornings and just like not really good sleep, but going to bed.
there were a couple of bugs in this room. One was like a leaf bug and one was a giant, I don't know what, but I managed to get them both evacuated safely out of the room using a plastic cup. So everyone will have a good night's sleep tonight. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You can see my view a little bit. Sun is just starting to come up at 6.30, no, almost 7 a.m. I'm packed and saying goodbye to this charming, charming, charming room. Love the headboard. It was a very comfortable night's sleep too. Good morning. Oh, it's dark in here. Good morning, 7 a.m. Finally getting to wear this dress. I'm packed, leaving my hotel, uh, heading on this tour for the day, and then I'm switching to a new hotel. But this is my last day in the Tuscan countryside. I'll show you the view out my window. You can't see much though. It's so early, the sun's just coming up. Oh, it's gonna be a gorgeous day. I think it's gonna be 80 degrees, so it's gonna be pretty warm. It's very nice out right now. Okay, let's go. a green smoothie and a ginger shot. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of hopefully just allergies. And I'm gonna take my Vespa tour.
Just got out of the train station, but I already really, really like Lucerne. Seems like a cool city. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Those faces. The trains. Sorry, it's so shaky. Oh, it's so pretty. It's kind of like San Francisco. Switzerland. Let me show you the view from this window. Mm, I don't know why the lighting's like not great, but hold on. I'm by the train station. Look how cute this building is. Cute. I'm actually getting ready. Oh, I wonder if this one, no. I'm actually getting ready to catch a train to Paris. I am in the final days of my travel. I have four nights left, five days, and then I will be back home in Los Angeles, so. joggers got my belt bag my jacket scarves packed everything's packed it's officially go time monday morning paris 9 a.m no 8 a.m checking out of my hotel right now and taking the train to the airport and that'll be about an hour and then i'll be on my flight at noon and then i'm time traveling and i will be in la at 2 15 so I'm gonna get to see my baby soon. I'm so excited. Dressed very comfy today. This is the same thing I wore on the flight to Berlin. So. 